Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and um, as well a Leo Rising. Weekly Tarot reading November 18th to November 24th, 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Leo, that is going to be the uh, Magician, followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome here throughout the week, that is to be the Hangman, followed by the third one which represents the positive aspects of the week and we do have the Wheel of Fortune, so pretty major week, it is what you do have ahead or what you do have ahead, excuse me. And the last one is going to be the Guidance card, which stands for the um, for the guidance that uh, Taro is offering. All right, <clears throat> so uh, the Magician here is going to be catalyzed by the Nine of Swords. These two cards are forming a passive, uh, passive sub, uh, active supporters, excuse me, into this position. And it looks like that throughout the week, you are really going to tap into your mm, standing and into your sovereignty in general, wanting to do a, a particular thing, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. Completely acknowledging that this, whatever you want to do so bad, and I mean so bad, is going to have a certain repercussions, but... As you not do it, these repercussions are going to be even, are going to have even, or the reciprocal repercussions are going to have even a, a bigger impact upon your life and in generally upon your growth. So what you are to do throughout this week for what it seems, it is that you will start gathering up not only just your resources, but as well negotiating your way through. Um especially with uh, people and situations in general that up until this moment you didn't have the balls to do it, all right? So it's kind of like you're also going to have this boost of a uh, boost of courage, if I, uh, if I can say it that way. And whatever actions as well you are to do throughout the week, they're going to speak louder than words is because those actions are going to be supported with strong determinations and as well a iron will a, a perfect perfect week for you to do miracles what i mean it is that a things or a performance you know endeavors in generally that many did not believe that you can actually do something about them all right or that you aren't worthy to do something about them so something about them and etc etc you can definitely outperform the expectations of your boss of your um 
you know, your co-workers as well, family, if you will, uh, partners into romantic relationships and so on and so forth. So it's really a, a week where you have to jump into action, although the, the initiative may become a little bit difficult for you to overcome as a intimidation. It's going to be a bit intimidating, but at the same time, it's going to produce a, a severe result. So the other card here stands for the challenges that you will need to overcome. We do have the Hangman and it is accompanied by the Death card. So challenging wise, um, it's all about understanding that this, this week you really need to make the change here. That is what these two cards are pointing, that the week it is, or that you do not, not to make the change, but you do need to make the difference, all right? <clears throat> So these two cards here are pointing that the week is simultaneously a, a, a test and a, a breakthrough as well. It's, it's like bursting through a difficult endeavors, bursting through a difficult fulcrums. Uh, if you will. So uh, these two cards as well are pointing that some of your habits or some of the initial um, stereotype of performances that you are doing needs to be let go of. So it's very, um, it's very possible here that you may find more efficient ways how you can do things, all right? How you can tackle with certain problems into your relationship or how you can perform into certain projects into your career as well. The whole point here is not to give up and even in the face of difficulties, you need to know that uh, with the appropriate measures and with the right timing here, things can definitely, thing things definitely can be put through but the real challenge once again it is for you to obtain a new different perspective upon the things and therefore a um, forging for yourself a little bit of a, a different strategy that is going to prove itself much more efficient than the initial strategy you do had in regards to these difficult endeavors so the positive aspect for you guys is going to be the Wheel of Fortune and that card is going to be accompanied by the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> so we do have any active supporters. Once again, so we do have active supporters at the start passive supporter at the challenge and active supporter at the uh, active friends excuse me here dear these are active friends at the positive aspect so this positive aspect here points a rapidly and i mean really rapidly approaching opportunities for you to make the difference as we said and uh, these cards also are touching on the aspect that it will require some drastic measures some uh, decisions that you cannot take away after they are done but uh, and with those decisions as well there are to be things that will be left broken right it could be broken trust it could be broken relationships it could be that you will have to abandon like i said a habits or you have to abandon certain perception of, of performance and so on and so forth but as you abandon certain things you should not look at them as a loss but rather you should look at them as a sacrifice because that will allow you to grasp on a, a particular opening that is to appear as a couple of things it is to appear as a, a significant uh, opportunity for you to break through and as well it may play a, play a role as a, a once in a lifetime change that you can do in regards to either your career or in regards to either your relationship so this week it is a, a week where you can really take on the or mm, kind of like take advantage of the chaos that is going on around you rule that chaos and do whatever you like with it. It is just you need to have the courage, you know, to jump into actions uh, or into action here. Additionally to that, is in a positive uh, in a positive note, you are gonna be very very busy. What I mean is that you are gonna be approached by many people into your social circle. You will have a a lot of tasks in regards to career endeavors as well. So that gives you an additional opportunity for you to prove yourself. All right, to prove yourself worthy for a promotion to prove yourself or not to prove yourself but to show yourself attractive into many people should you look for relationship and so on and so forth so my point here for you Leo it is this week guys I mean this week it is the week where you do make 
a, a difference. You do show yourself as a, a more than people saw you back in the days in front of the world. And the last card that we do have, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering, and that is to be the Five of Swords here, accompanied with the Six of Wands. We do have in another a active friend. And it's a bit uh, overwhelming, uh, because uh, what I am to say right now may not be liked by most of you, okay? Because, you know, most of the people in this world, they are quite emotional, and people lean toward the good side of the matters. But these two cards are asking you to be reckless. That is, the, uh, not reckless, ruthless, excuse me. That is the guidance. Ruthless. I, this is the thing that I repeat probably in every single reading of mine. And it is that before taking care of the happiness and um, <clears throat> well-being of everybody else around, you have to take care for your own happiness and your own well-being. Because... No one else will. That's And this is what these two cards are pointing. I mean, should you see something that is going to make you happy, regardless what this is going to do to those around you, you got to go for it. Because otherwise, it's no one is going to give it to you on a platter. So that being said, guys, these, um, these two cards here as a guidance, Leo, are pointing that if you are tenacious enough, all right, if you are self-righteous enough, and if you don't simply care that your benefits or kind of like your, um, your well-being is going to make someone else miserable because that's really how the world operates. Someone to become rich, someone else becomes poor, right? Someone to be happy, someone else becomes miserable. It is just how the world operates. And I'm going to give you an example here. You want to be with a specific person. And this week, it is the week where you really forge a bond. Well, I bet that this person that you are to forge a bond with, it is loved by someone else that will not be able to forge a bond with them, all right? And you make them miserable by you making yourself happy. It is just how, how the game is. And uh, you shouldn't feel pity for that you made something for yourself or rather like you put an effort to make yourself happy to rip rewards for, for your labor and to achieve a, a significant significant milestone for yourself that can serve as a trampoline for you to skyrocket towards a much happier height so that being said leo this was your weekly tarot reading november 18th to november 24th 2019 hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then, bye.